This is the HP 4729 inkjet printer and we are here to unbox and review the same. So this carries the same shape as the 3635 and it's called the Ultra 4729. It has the same shape but uses a different cartridge. And it's a multifunction wireless print scan copy printer and it prints without a router, has borderless printing, uh, very quiet and costs about 8.5k. That's almost uh, I think uh, 3k more than your uh, 3635. But this one can print 3000 pages with a single set of cartridges. So yeah, and it comes in black, so it looks really, really fantastic. And that is the cartridge number. It's called the HP 46 cartridge. And with this printer, you get a pair of cartridges absolutely free. That's both the color and black and white. So let's quickly uh, open this up. So yeah, uh, just to remember, you know, the black cartridge can print 1,500 pages, whereas the color can print about 750. And that's the reason why you'll see that, you know, one of the cartridges is actually bigger than the other. So unboxing this very quickly. Okay, it looks really nice in that matte black finish. Just trying to speed it up so that I don't have people complain. And okay, it's nicely laminated with a nice plastic sheet. Let's have that removed. Look at the shine it's got. Yeah, it's nicely packed. So it's absolutely the same structure as a 3635. Okay, when you're opening it, just be a little careful because the cartridge is actually uh, the cartridges are actually stored inside this uh, little box, which is where you actually install the new cartridges. So once you open that, you'll find a nice uh, cardboard box which holds the cartridges. And like I said, it has four of them, right? And that's the tray for the printer and. Uh, I'm just showing you where the cartridges go. So you move this particular holder right in the middle where you have a slot. And that's where you put the color ink and the black ink. So here's a box. Let's quickly open that. This takes long. Okay, so there, there's also the power card inside and the USB cable. So I just forgot to mention that. Okay, that is the cartridge so that's the color cartridge you also have the black and white cartridge so there are four of them because you get two free the power cord is a two pin socket and the USB card which you will just use for setting up the printer that's given as well so let's set up the printer and uh, just align this printer cartridge holder in the place where it's mentioned and then we shall open the cartridges up. So the black cartridge is here. Okay. So this, it's very simple to install this. Just make sure that you remove the protective covering from the cartridge. It has a small tape to kind of protect the head. So that's the one. You just pull that tab and exposes it. And post that, make sure you don't touch anything there. You just hold the sides and just slot this inside and it should be as simple as that. It should click into place. That's it. That's how you install a small HP 46 cartridge. So let's do the same for the color one. And you know, they, they look different because this has got the pink cover on top. So this is the color one. And it's much smaller than the black cartridge. And it does print less as well. So it's about 750 pages. Much more than this HP 6AD cousin, but you know, the cartridge is smaller than the black one. Again, just put it in and click it. That's it. All right, they do look different as well, as if you know they're not aligned, it's because of the sizes. And that's it. So let's put the power card in place, and the power card is at the back. And it does take a while for it to start up in the first time you do this because it's going to realign the head units, it's going to do some calculations and it will take some time, makes a lot of noise, the printer will shake, vibrate, but that's normal. In the meanwhile, uh, what we can do quickly is kind of uh, get the drivers installed. 
you should have a CD inside, but you know, there were problems with it. So you can just go to hp.com, search for the print on model and get the latest drivers. Okay, the printers just started. So the display shows zero papers and it shows the level of ink. Everything is working fine and you're all good to go. So the Wi-Fi is still blinking, so we shall set it up. And you know, the, I've just opened the browser to get the hp.com website. And I'm gonna download the latest drivers so that you know everything is working fine. Should be about 150 MB if you do this. Okay, and that was the CD I told you. It, it was broken out of the box, so no use of that. You also get some basic setup instructions. Uh, if you watch this video, you probably don't need it, but uh, yeah, they are, there are some basic instructions. It looks like it was printed using this printer. So just put this aside. And there's also a quick installation guide over the cartridge. Okay, the driver's just downloading. So it's it's pretty simple to use. I mean, you get used to it. The the you know instructions are very clear. As you install the driver, it tells you what to do, what to what to press on, what to go, you know, what to do next. Very easy to do that. Unlike the 3635, where I had a lot of problems connecting to Wi-Fi, this one was very very simple. And there are a lot of drivers. It does take a lot of time. So once you do that. Um, Okay. It just tells you that the Wi-Fi is set up and it should be able to tell you to pull out your Wi-Fi cord and the Wi-Fi light also stops blinking in a moment. Just give permissions to the computer saying that this device can use wireless. And then you can actually disconnect all the cables and we can quickly take a print out. So let's add some paper printers on standby and the output tray is clear. And it started printing. So not bad. I mean this is a color printout. Took a few seconds but uh, very clear printing. No issues setting it up. I mean, I know you can do wonders with this printer, but this hardly took a while. I just put it on the table, put the drivers, hit the print button, and it just printed it beautifully. So that's how the printer is supposed to work. So that's good. Okay, so it's also going to print everything else you don't want if you don't tell it to stop. So, okay, let's use the scan bed for a moment. So I'm just going to use one of its own test papers as a scan sample. And I'm just going to reverse the paper and see if we can print on that. So let's hit the copy button. And that's how fast it actually copies black and white. That's not bad. So using the mobile app is even more fun because you get more control over it. You can see the ink levels. You can do a lot of things on that, print photos, etc. And the app is really, really nice. Just download it from Play Store. It should be called the HP Smart Print app. And it's got this beautiful function of scanning and it can scan anything to your phone. If you have a passport, if you have a driver's license and you want to scan it, it's that easy to do. Right now it's just got a paper inside. So I'm just pressing the scan button and it just scanned the same thing where I printed. Beautiful. Then you can just share it. You can convert it into PDF. You can save it. You can do anything you want. Now you can also print from your mobile device. And when you print, you need to install an additional driver, right? And that's again in Play Store. So I'm just gonna try and get a picture quickly. So it's called a print service plugin. Just make sure you download that. It's just one time install. And once you say okay and start, it should be done. So it's a very versatile printer. Looks very good in black. I wish other printers also had the black option, but they don't. So the 4729 is a nice 
all-in-one printer a good recommended buy for high quality prints uh, the resolution is almost the same as 3635 just that the ink cartridges last much longer and the print speed is higher so uh, definitely recommended for those of you who want slightly faster performance and more long lasting prints uh, so that's my short review on the HP 4729 uh, inkjet printer. So um, install the app, use it on the mobile and it should really make your life a lot simpler. So that's my short review and uh, do hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you want to see more such videos and the bell icon as well to get the notifications on the next release. And I will see you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching Artec. Bye bye.